found a body in the dumpster at uh, one, two, three, Davis Drive. Uh, it's pretty blo uh, bloody, very come quick. That's how you take out the garbage. Okay, so to start off with, uh, we're going to ask you a few questions about what happened this morning. Uh, first off, what were you doing prior to finding the body? Uh, I was taking out the garbage uh, when Jay had our work here. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Uh, yeah, I did. I saw a man running in that direction over there. Okay, uh, could you give us a description of that man? Uh, yeah, he's about 5'9", uh, medium build, uh, short brown hair. Uh, he's wearing uh, red gym shorts and uh, white t-shirt. What way was he traveling? Uh, he's running in that direction over there. And... He must have got thrown in this way. Let's take a blood sample here. off over there, direction of the gym. You come over here for a second. Yeah. What's your name? Where are you headed to today? My name is Mike Williams. I'm just heading home. Okay, I'll yeah. come back to my car and check some things out. Sure. Can I see some ID, please, sir? Yep. Sure. Thank you. And do you mind if I look through your bag? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Check this out. I'm gonna check your ID, and I'll be back with you in a second. Description matches the suspect from an earlier murder study. So we're gonna have to take you down to the station for question. It'll only take a second. We'll make it quick. Okay. Okay? asking you for a DNA sample. What? If you say no, we'll assume that you're guilty. Alright, fine then. Okay, so the we're going to ask uh, for a hair sample. You can just uh, get one of your hairs and put it in his bag, please. Alright, I got short hair. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. We'll be back with the results.
so? You said you were walking home. Where were you before that? I was at a friend's house. Oh, really? Because we got the lab results in. And it says here that the uh, hair sample that we took from you earlier matches a skin follicle found in the, the victim at the scene. Do you want to change your story there, Mike? Alright, this is how it went down. Confession made things easy on yourself and us. Now, tell us where Jamal is so we can finish this case. If you don't, you'll suffer the consequence. Alright, Jamal lives on 789 Sexton Drive. I think that's all you need to know. We caught this dinner. And now it's time for dessert. Accessory to murder of Joe Dan McFlurry. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to retain counsel. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Stop assisting. Get in the car. They always try to run, but I'm just too fast. So, you said you were walking home. What were you doing before that? I was at a friend's house. I tried to get Oh, sir, we have a little bit of a problem. Your description matches somebody who is... Take two! 